Okay. Welcome back, folks. POV Pool at POVpool.com. We are live from the Joint Q in Sacramento, California. This is the first match of the 47th Annual Terry Stonier Memorial Nine Ball Tournament. Live from uh, the Jointed Q in Sacramento, California. And our first feature match of the day is between Vilmos Foldish and Tom Seymour. I don't know much about Tom Seymour, uh, but uh, as you guys may already know, Vilmos is a very proficient professional athlete. Two thousand six junior world champion, and he's about to play Tom Seymour. And hopefully, uh, there's a lot of history here at the Jointed Cube Billiards in Sacramento. Hopefully, we'll have some of the old timers come in and share a few stories with us about uh, the founder of this room, Terry Stonier, who passed away about ten years ago. This nine ball tournament is a race to six on both sides. And we're starting off with a ball on the break and a push, looks like. on the uh, cue ball there to come down for the three. Looks like he's at a pretty good angle. Seems like it came in between the six and seven. Okay. Now's the tough shot. He's come past that nine. event on uh, gold crown twos. Uh, these, these gold crowns are actually purchased from the WPBA about seven or eight years ago uh, from an event that they did. And the pockets here are about four and a quarter inch. They're uh, friendly pockets. Uh, the rails are pretty springy though. Tom tried to play safe. Left Vilmos open. Vilmos came in uh, second place in last night's mini tournament, losing to Amar Kang. Now look at 
like that. And um, for those just joining us, the rules are uh, no jump cues allowed in this event. You can jump, but you have to jump with your playing cue. Six goes down. So Vilma should take ball in hand. Did that just happen? <laughs> Did that just happen, folks? Looks like Tom might end up with this first game. Good speed. It goes in. It's going to be 1-0. Tom versus Vilmos. for sponsoring POV Pool this year. And we'd like to remind you to check out Tiger, TigerProducts.com. So a lot of people think that this tournament will come down to the break, uh, especially since it's a race to six, winner breaks. But uh, if you're Vilmos Foldish, you miss nine balls like that. It's not going to come down to the break at all. <laughs> so hopefully he'll just get over the first match jitters. And another push out. Second game in a row with a push. Tom's option. Seems like he might have a fairly easy um, safety opportunity here. He just hit the one ball slightly full with a little bit of right hand spin and try to park your cue ball behind the four ball. Oh, I think he went for the bank there. And he might have left uh, Vilmos with a carom or a billiard opportunity here. He can play a two-way, actually, actually can play for the one ball and the f nine at the same time. Or he can just bear down, play the one. Oh, it looks like he played a safe. Not bad. Tom's got the handcuffs on now. And just once again, guys, no jump cues allowed. open table
this room that we're in is a, a sort of unofficially the action room or the tournament room. We've got a huge bleacher section here with old-fashioned theater-style seating, four tables, um, very well-lit room, no music being played in here. So uh, this is definitely your classic pool connoisseurs event room. It's been uh, here since 1967. It's definitely a time capsule. And uh, I would definitely put the jointed queue on your destination, one of your destination points when you come to California and check out all the nice rooms that we have here. And a uh, beautiful run by Vilmos. She takes the first game. Uh, the second game, sorry, his first game. And while I have you here, I'm going to uh, unofficially announce the West Coast Swing, which is coming this year. The West Coast Swing of Pool, which um, has sort of been uh, in hibernation for a couple years. Three premier events in uh, California taking place in California. Well, four events actually in California and uh, two in Las Vegas this July. Check it out, the West Coast Swing will be happening all July this year with a press release soon to come on my website. break here. Great safety. Tom's got a, I think a two rail kick here, but he's got to be careful not to hit this four, uh, this nine ball coming through. There's also a, a one rail kick to the short rail, but I don't, I don't know if he can even reach that, so. Two-rail kick it is. Now, one thing I'll say about this table is that this, when the rails are this springy, they're also very unpredictable. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> clear examples of how these rails are tough to fade. Tom's wide open here.
This table. <laughs> yeah, that jangling in the background is. Uh, I think they they they're the original Delta racks that came with the WPBA tables. Delta Delta's been working with the WPBA for years, and so those are those are the anodized aluminum Delta racks that you hear in the background. They actually made uh, dampeners for them. Tom had a chance to win that game, but uh, gave it back to Vilmos. And I was distracted for a little bit. Angel Olivares, he's the tournament director here with Joe Murphy, and he just uh, made me aware that on table 17, the next table over, is going to be two former champions of this tournament, Nick Kanan versus Danny Gokul. chance for redemption here. Left himself a little tough. He's not really sure where he's putting his cue ball on this shot. Yeah. Oh, he didn't leave Vilmos too easy here. See how the rails handle this kick. Or is he? Oh, he might mess A, actually. I think he can get through, possibly. Yeah, he can. He can get through. Doesn't need to kick at all.
Oh, he just feathered off the seven there a little. Almost scratched. But he, he's okay. work. Okay. It's going to make Vilmos halfway there. Three, two, one. We'd also like to thank Town Tips for working with us. Check out Town Tips today. TownTips.com. Vilmos has a pretty good chance of uh, chalking up another game real quick. That's a good position because now he can just come behind the four instead of uh, instead of trying to break it out or anything. He might have a little too much angle on the two. I'm not sure. He might have to spin the ball a little or draw. Kill the ball. See what he does. <sighs> no. I think that's what he tried to do is kind of kill the ball and then spin off the rail. He landed okay. work four to one Reed Stensrud. Surprised Reed Stensrud didn't come to play this event. Oh, oh, I think he's in the chat room. Want to say hi to Reed Stensrud? I'm sitting next to Chris Swart. He tells me that you had uh, shoulder surgery, so. Yeah, Sissy Lala. <laughs> Not coming to the pool hall.
got safe. Okay, Anthony P. Robert Aldana on 15. Anthony P. Robert Aldana, table 15. Well, the three balls kind of making it tough for him to kick this. Uh, even this two rail that he's looking at has to become a three rail because, oh no, that's not going to do it. He could have done it one rail. I think that's what he tried to do, maybe a one railer. Vilmos going up and down table now. He's already out of position. Safety time. Let's see here, do you use the six ball? Or do you feather the two? Feather the two and come around two, three rails, maybe use the five for cover. How do you play this safety? says no safety I cut it in out of the pan into the fire now he's got another tough uh, deal here let's see you cut this one in sir I don't think so You know, there's uh, two-way opportunities here, but you don't really want to play the two-way on this shot. You want to play safe or you want to play to make it. Not bad. matches we got going on. Uh, Jeff Gregory's playing uh, Jim Pierce's friend Corey on table 20. Deo Alpajora is playing um, the cue maker. Jim Baroni. Baroni cues. Barioni. And uh, Jason Williams playing Mr. Skeen. I don't know his first name. like Silva Ochoa but it <laughs> but it's not <laughs> it's it's his brother <laughs> it's his long lost brother <laughs> wonder where Silva is these days family man family man huh
Oh, nice, nice shot. Oh, looks like Tom just got there. You know, that, that's a actually a safety that is used a lot by uh, some of the Filipino players, like Efren Reyes, that four rail bank safety. But I think also he wanted to put the cue in front of the or behind the five ball as well for cover. Nice kick. Very nice kick. Sounded like a miscue to me. Tom, Tom to me looks like a, kind of a one pocket player. Just judging by his style of play and the safeties he plays. John Henderson stealing a little camera time. <laughs> that was the silhouette of Hendy. Great, John. Actually, John is pretty great. He just uh, he just won the Super Seniors uh, one pocket event in Texas a couple months ago. He's going to go back to play the senior event. Good luck to you. He had to beat some pretty tough players. Billy and Cardona, Buddy Hall, Frank Almanza. Two-rail kick here, hopefully hold up the cue ball and keep the cue ball down by the short rail. No, he double-kissed into it. Left Vil motion open shot. I think that's makeable. Yeah, yeah, it looks, looks pretty makeable. He's just, he's concerned about this nine. He's going to make the three, but it, uh, the cue ball will get in the... It's going to collide with the nine ball. Jeff Gregory closes out against Corey. Six games to two. Now, Vilmos, do you play this combo, or do you... What do you do here? Play the side? Ow. Side pocket with a two-way option. Tom 
Tom's not exactly hooked here, and I think he can back cut this four ball. I don't think it's too much of a problem. I think it's makeable. Yeah. Woo. Holy mole, Godfrey Daniel. He's he's gonna have to show us a little bit of stroke here. He put the nine in front of the six. So he, he'll need to draw back a couple of, maybe a foot and a half or a foot. I don't know. Three, is three inches enough? Yeah, he looks, he looks like it goes. gonna hurt that is definitely gonna hurt Tom can't walk away from this match saying he didn't have his chances but uh, fortunately for him it's not over it's five to one after this nine ball goes down so But it is true, he's, he's definitely had his chances. Smashing break, but uh, comes up fruitless. For those of you who don't already know this, uh, California Billiard Club has reopened as California Billiards. They're in Fremont now. They moved from Mountain View to Fremont. And uh, just off the 581, or is it the 5? Off the 80? Off the 880. And um, it's 15,000 square feet. Um, 26 nine-footers. Eight valley bar tables, 26 nine-footers, eight valley bar tables, um, four or six foosball tables. You got, you got some foosball, too. About to upgrade to six foosball tables. They got darts and dart tournaments happening. You've got to check out California Billiards, which is going to be the new very quickly going to make, make its name as the new premier event in, uh, in all of California. I think it's going to be the biggest venue. What a shot. Super stroke. With a 3-9 combo. Oh, nope. He's hooked on the two. I didn't see the two, guys. I apologize. So at long last, it's been, we waited a long time for California Billiards to open, but uh, you gotta check that spot out. Oh, 
total of 75 players uh, in today's Terry Stoner Memorial Nine Ball. This is actually the oldest pool hall in California, opened in 1967. And I tell you, it really is a time capsule in here. Please remember guys to like the Jointed Q on Facebook. Stay in tune with those guys and uh, you'll find out what events they have. And they do have weekly tournaments here every Monday and Tuesday. These uh, races are pretty short, you know. I mean, when you're down 5-1, it's not the end of the world. There is a lot of pressure, but it's not the end of the world. There's still a little hope, you know. Winter break format. Good things can always happen. It's just important that you have to believe you can win. Actually, Chris Ford, a happy birthday, belated birthday. <laughs> did you did you blow out all the candles this year? Twenty nine. Twenty nine of them. Twenty nine of them. Red velvet kind of guy, aren't you? Red velvet uh, buttercream icing kind of guy. Is that you? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, and cheesecake. All right, there you go. Teresa's cheesecake. That's right. Teresa Tong, she's the manager over at uh, California Billiards. She makes excellent cheesecake. Are they selling it now out of the. No? Reese's Cheesecake Factory, I'm telling you. Yet another reason to go and visit the place. Oh, and Chris tells me there's half-naked girls there, too. All right, so... Fully naked is another way to get a crowd. <laughs> Thank you. 
We almost can close out here. Great speed on the cue ball. That could have gone wrong, you know. Now, what to do here? Maybe just hold up and play the seven in the opposite uh, corner over by his uh, waistline there. Chris Swartz said he's going around the nine. That's not a bad way to go either. See how he does. Vilmos says, I'm just going to play a trick shot. <laughs> Settle down, Vilmos. <laughs> he says, I'm going to play off the titty of the side pocket instead. And an obnoxious finish from Vilmos. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. First match. First match of the day. Your thoughts? Your feedback? <laughs> Why don't we stand by and uh, something else is coming real soon. Uh, we're going to toggle over f to Jason Williams. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to troubleshoot the camera for Jason Williams. Uh, we'll be back with another match. It'll be Paul Silva versus... I don't know who is versus, but... Uh, not, nope. All right, we have another match coming shortly.